As we uh, get towards the end of our time together, uh, I wanted to ask you both a related question. Dr. Sproul, uh, several years ago, you produced a teaching series for Ligonier Ministries uh, called Surprised by Suffering. And uh, there's no question that the truths that uh, you taught and conveyed in that series have been a great comfort and encouragement to those who are going through difficult phases in life, either physically or emotionally. And I was curious to know, many of you know that Dr. Sproul has, has dealt with some significant health issues over the last year, and, and I would like to know, R.C., and I think our audience would like to know, how have those truths been a comfort to you as you've dealt with these, these issues? Well, certainly uh, <laughs> there have been lots of people, or are lots of people, who have suffered a whole lot more than I have in the last year, but I have had some serious health issues in the last year, and I have been reminded frequently of my own work there on that book, Surprised by Suffering, and go back to my own advice that I gave to others and give it to myself. And on a practical level, one of my uh, favorite uh, experiences is daily to pray the Lord's Prayer. I, excuse me that, but the 23rd Psalm as well. Because I just have to remember who I am, who God is, that He is my shepherd, and therefore there's no reason for me to want anything, you know. He takes me where He wants me to be, beside the still waters, in the green pastures, and He restores my soul. And even if I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I don't have to be afraid of anything because why? He's with me. And, uh, and so I just keep looking at the elements of that every day and, uh, and, and say, I, uh, I have to deal with uh, limitations. I have to deal with anxieties. We were talking about this yesterday with another friend of ours, uh, that I don't have any fear of death whatsoever. But I have lots of fears of how I'm going to get there. <laughs> you know, it's the process that's scary. <laughs> and, and I don't particularly enjoy pain. And, uh, and so I'm always looking for ways to get away from that. But there is unbelievable peace and comfort in the Word of God and predominantly knowing who He is and believing in His sovereignty. Right now, wherever, whatever else I'm called to do, uh, what, whatever those limitations are in my health, that's part of my present calling. I believe that God has called me to be where I am to, at this very moment, and I think it's true for every believer at that point.